you're a nuisance. here got my camera ready we are live now what is going on everybody i'm you guy rez and i am back again with y'all with a very special segment of welcome to the bay welcome so in this segment right here guys this has been a very long time coming and a lot of people have been asking me about a collection video so you know i have over a hundred plus jerseys in my collection and i don't know how or if i can show all of them in one video however I do want to show you guys a collection video because a lot of people have been dying for a collection video from me. So I figured since I am a diehard Golden State Warriors fan, you know, I wanted to share a collection of my Golden State Warriors jerseys. Everything behind me right here, guys, is all my Golden State Warriors jerseys at the moment. Just a quick heads up to give you guys context as you're watching this video. I don't have every single jersey from the Golden State Warriors. I'm not claiming to take that title or anything, but um, there was a point in time where I would actually was not collecting and I wasn't buying any jerseys for about like six years or so. So there is definitely going to be a significant gap in my collection. You guys notice it, you'll probably catch it. Um, you know as i go through this video but um, i wasn't buying any jerseys at that time so you know i'm currently trying to catch up you know and pick up on some lost time that i lost over those six years uh roughly but you know i will say that my golden state warriors collection i'm pretty proud of it and um, i'm very excited to share with you guys you know my collection currently all right that is enough talking let's jump into the video start things off you know, we're gonna take it back. So the Golden State Warriors guys were not always based out of California. Um, you know, historically speaking, they were actually founded in Philadelphia. So, you know, the team was known as the Philadelphia Warriors. So, you know, in the beginning, you know, this jersey right here is a really dope one. Um, as you can see, it's got the Phila. You know, that's basically paying homage to Philadelphia. Um, this is kind of like a remix throwback, you know. Um, the player right here is none other than my favorite. Golden State Warrior of all time, Jason Richardson. And guys, yes, Steph Curry is not my favorite Warrior of all time. He is definitely on my top list of favorite Golden State Warriors, but believe it or not, it's Jay Rich, guys. So this jersey right here is a phenomenal piece. It is made by Reebok. This is part of their defunct hardwood classic line. It's a size 48. It's an authentic. And on the front, you have the Fila with the 23. And on the back, double stitch numbers and single stitch on the name right there and this one is actually made in korea guys so there's a neck tag so this is a super fire jersey now the warriors before they moved to the city they were in philadelphia but shortly after that they actually relocated the team to san francisco the bay area and this jersey right here is one of the greats for the warriors organization None other than Will the Stilt. This is a Mitchell Ness Authentic, guys. This is a really rare jersey to come by. Here is the jock tag of this jersey. So as you can see, the Mitchell Ness jock tags jerseys changed. I did a video on legit checks on some older Mitchell Ness stuff. So this is another legit jock tag, guys, if you want to take some notes as well. But beautiful San Francisco on the front. That is double stitched along with Wilt number 13 right there. And on the back, as you can see, there is no name on the back as it should be since the Warriors wore them with no names on the back at this time. But you have Wilt's iconic number 13 that is double stitched. Neck tag guys, this is made in El Salvador. It's a really beautiful jersey. Uh, fast forward to the 1966 era. This is probably the most iconic Warriors logos that you guys have seen. If you guys are NBA fans, basketball fans, Jersey head fans, you already know what this jersey entails. There is really no explanation needed. But if you guys don't know, which is totally fine as well, this is the infamous classic city jerseys, as you can see. These are both made by Mitchell and S guys, and the players are none other than Rick Barry and 
the late great Nate Thurman, rest in peace. But this is a beautiful jersey made by ben Mitchell and Ness. You have chain stitching, as you can see right there. It's crazy the detail of the chain stitching, along with the bridge and the water is also chain stitching. It's crazy, crazy detail. Let me show you guys the jock tag of the Rick Berry right there. And then on the back, you have the beautiful design of the stars. Five stars right there with the cable car with that chain stitching as well. Oh my gosh. This is one of Mitchell and Ness's best jerseys in my opinion. You can see. And then also the Nate Thurman right there. This is also made in Korea, guys. If you guys are wondering, I gotta get these jerseys tailored because I never had these jerseys tailored in my collection. They're really big, so I can't really wear these right now, but there is the neck tag if you guys are wondering. And this is actually still brand new with tags, guys. We are going to fast forward to the 80s because this is a jersey that was worn by the Warriors in the 80s. This is the 1985-86 Chris Mullen Authentic made by Mitchell Ness. There is a jock tag, guys, size 48 XL. Everything on this jersey is pressed on. There is no stitching on here, but the pressing on the jersey is just beautiful. Look at that. Warriors star right there. Beautiful, beautiful. So Chris Mullen, guys, is no stranger to the Warriors organization. You know, he is one of the best. Beautiful jersey. It's definitely got some retro vibes to it. Crazy to think that I was like, I don't even think I was born yet. No, I wasn't even born yet. All right, guys, and we are moving along to the 90s. This is probably the most, one of the most popular eras of the Golden State Warriors. If you grew up in the 90s, then you already know this logo right here is no stranger to you guys. But let me show you guys these two styles right here this is what they call the run tmc era um these are both beautiful jerseys that i have in hand right here this one is the chris mullen made by mitchell and s the mully beautiful jersey made by mitchell and s this is the older version guys made in korea i know they recently made like remade this jersey um i think it's from vietnam or uh china um if i'm not mistaken but this is the older version guys this is the one with better quality as you can see there is the jock tag size 54 this is another jersey that i have to get tailored um you know i bought this jersey way back when you know big jerseys were the style you know but uh as you can see there is the neck tag right there then you have the captain patch that is stitched on you have the warriors that is double stitched with Molly's number 17 on the front and on the back you can see right there woolen's last name that is single stitched along with his number 17 that is double stitched so that's a dope jersey now this one guys i do want to give a huge shout out to the homie rivalry sportswear the good people over at rivalry um you know this jersey is custom made intricate details and everything that they've done that they put into this jersey you know and this one looks more accurate to the original than the mitchell and s in my opinion but as you can see it has the nba logo this time on it warriors again double stitch this is the c web chris weber authentic version of this style jersey right here. Weber's name is single stitched along with the number four. And there is no jock tag on this. If you do decide to buy a jersey from Rivalry now, they will include a jock tag. But, you know, I bought this many, many years ago when Rivalry did not have jock tags on their jerseys, but it is still dope. It is a very, very detailed and intricate piece. So, you know, I have this in the collection really proud to have this one the run tmc set in the white colors right here guys these are really really rare gems they're not easy to come by I'm trying to hold three at once to show you guys but I, don't, I need like octopus arms but yo i have the original run tmc trio right here you know we'll start it off with t-bug tim hardaway the killer crossover as you can see, this is the authentic. These are all made by Mitchell and Ness, by the way, guys. So you have the captain patch right there, the C, along with the Warriors, that is double stitched, along with T-Bug, Tim Hardaway's number 10, that is double stitched. You can see there is an NBA logo right there. Beautiful, beautiful jersey. There is the jog tag right there. These are all 48 XLs, 1990-91. Then, of course, we got your guy Moly, just like the blue one. You have the white version. And you have beautiful trim along with the C patch and the NBA logo. Warrior 17, double stitched, along with Mullen's name and the number 17 on the back stitch. We have The Rock, Mitch Richmond, right here. Uh, I know a lot of people remem remember him when he was on the Kings, but believe it or not, guys, he was one third of the Run TMC era. It was really sad when they let him go. Just like the other two, authentic version is the 
jog tag right there so super super classic these three guys did some phenomenal things for our organization you know definitely proud owner of those three jerseys they are not easy to come by they're very very hard and they're rare this is another rare piece guys and i did a video on this a couple of, about a year ago on my youtube channel check it out but this right here guys is latrell spreewell man and he played for the warriors you know obviously he had a stint with the knicks and then you know also with the timberwolves but yo he was a force to be reckoned with you can see it does have a gold jerry west nba logo because a lot of the teams during the 96 97 season were wearing i think all teams actually had the gold nba logo right there and this is the jock tag this is a size 48 which is an extra large this is a made in korea version guys which is a little bit on the longer side but i like this way i like the way this jersey fits it's a really really dope jersey this is a really classic jersey guys i just want to say something about this jersey real quick i don't understand why mitchell and ness has not made any jerseys in this style yet you know it really boggles my mind because this style i feel like is one of the warriors best designs that the warriors have done you know to this day and i only have one jersey from this era which i'm holding in my hands right now guys so you know there's a, a number of great players that played during this era right here you know just to name a few gilbert arenas uh antoine jameson which i'm holding right here um latrell mully was there you know adonald foil you know what i'm saying so like i don't understand why mitchell ness or any other sportswear brand did not make these jerseys i know starter did you know um they made them back in the day but those are like extremely expensive every time you go on ebay they're going for like 500 600 plus dollars which is crazy because i would never spend that you know on a single jersey unless the jersey was like an autograph special jersey or anything but anyways this is the only version of this style that i have guys and this is a swingman jersey uh, made in el salvador and you have the beautiful lightning right here this style was worn like in the early 2000s guys so you know this is when i became a warriors fan but as you can see right there you could see it is single stitch with the warriors graphic on the front you have antoine jameson's number 33 that is single stitch but it should be triple stitched you know if this was the authentic version but this is still a pretty good swing man you know and then what i really love about this style of the warriors is that you have this like lightning bolt that is just on the side of the jersey and this looks to be printed on onto the side and on the other side you don't have any design for some reason you know the warriors they haven't brought this jersey and they haven't brought it back you know they hint styles of it but they never actually bring it back to full capacity so i don't know what's up with that i'm waiting for it because this is like one of my favorite styles definitely my top three favorite warriors jerseys of all time for sure move start moving on to my favorite era of the warriors the we believe era so you know this era right here you know i was in uh, high school slash college early college days <laughs> and um you know i have some really nice pieces from this era that i want to share with you guys um to start things off as you can see right here let me show you guys this one this is a classic iconic jersey guys for the warriors this is none other than jay rich this is an authentic version made by reebok and the one right here on my right hand is the adidas authentic of this style by the warriors this is b diddy baron davis this is an iconic jersey as well which i'll go on over in just a few moments but let me show you guys the reebok one first you know as you can see they use that dazzle material on the jersey so it's definitely different from like the polyester mesh that we're used to seeing with like the mesh holes and stuff you know during this era the nba started to switch it up and start using these like styles for most of their jerseys but you see the warriors beautiful 23 that is triple stitched as you can see right there nba logo embroidered size 48 extra large see right there and on the back you have the infamous lightning bolt along with richardson's name with that like arch that rainbow arch and 23 on the back and you have the beautiful trim on the sides super super dope baron davis now this jersey guys and player did some phenomenal things with the warriors um this is when the Warriors made to the playoffs and they upset the number one seed at the time, which was the Dallas Mavericks. And um, we got past them the first round. The second round, we lost, unfortunately, to the Utah Jazz. But the Warriors put up a fight because they had a really, really good run um, during this, this time that they were in the playoffs. But 
the memory that I have with this jersey is when Baron Davis did that nasty dunk over AK-47, Andre Kirilenko. You guys have to definitely watch the playback if you guys weren't around then. It's still on YouTube or wherever. And oh my goodness, it was just a nasty, nasty dunk. The five right there, Baron Davis has the triple stitching with the Warriors. They use that dazzle material, as you can see NBA logo right there. Neck tag, this is made in Korea, Lightning Bolt, Davis. Number five on the back that is triple stitched. And here is the jock tag, guys. So, a couple of other authentics from this era. I have the road versions that are both authentic right here, guys. This is Jay Rich again and Baron Davis. These are probably two of my most favorite players during this era of the We Believe era, but both authentic versions, guys. These are both made by Reebok. You can see just like the white version this is the road navy blue you see there is the neck tag or neck tag sorry jock tag guys <laughs> side trim with the orange and you have a beautiful neck collar right there with that kind of like a gold goldish color In the back davis's name and jay rich's name right there so you have double stitching on the numbers so super super iconic very very classic jerseys then i also have some swingmans from this era guys this one right here guys if you guys grew up in the bay if you're not from the bay you probably don't know who this was but yo this is this guy was probably um one of those players man he was he was definitely uh he wasn't the greatest but he wasn't the worst <laughs> but right here guys this one is actually none other than andres Bedrins. and this jersey guys was actually autographed so Originally, I was not planning on getting the jersey because it was autographed because um, I want to wear the jersey But I got it for a killer deal man, and this jersey is harder to come by even though it is a swing man um, Yeah, Beedron's his name that is single stitched Along with the bolt the Warriors single stitch with the 15. He also played during the we believe era um, Like I said guys, he wasn't our best player, but you know definitely was a fan favorite for the Warriors. There is the jock tag. This is another thing I do want to mention, guys. The swingmans, the older swingmans like Adidas, um, pre Rev 30 days, uh, but like I'm talking about like early Adidas and also like Reebok days and the older Nike days. The jerseys, the swingman jerseys were so much better in quality, man. I mean, they were single stitched, definitely had more detail to it. But here's some other ones I have, some other classics. Captain Jack right here, Steven jackson and monte ellis guys curry before before curry i like to say <laughs> you know monte ellis was supposed to lead the warriors pact um after the departure of the we believe era but eventually you know he got traded and um i remember very specifically man the warriors we were so upset man when we got rid of ellis and this was during the time that curry was actually a, a rookie and a lot of people were against Curry. I was. I'm eating my words now, man, because I was so stuck with the We Believe era. But, you know, nonetheless, this is the Swingman version, single stitch. I've had this jersey in my collection for many, many moons. <laughs> As you can see, still in pretty good condition, even though it's a Swingman. No fading or anything like that. Of course, you have the chalk tag right there, but extra large. Steven Jackson's name that is single stitch along with his number one all right and then the warriors during this era they also had an alternate jersey guys so this was during the time when the warriors had what they called alternate jerseys um you know i know now we have like statement editions we have like icon editions earned editions you know city editions so during this era they only had three jerseys really they had their home their the road away and their alternates and this was their alternate this one is such an eye grabber guys um i know you guys might see the curry one floating around all the time you know his rookie jersey but this is the j rich one which is a lot more rarer as you can see the warriors that is double stitched with the white and the navy blue authentic j rich again my favorite golden state warrior Richardson with the arch 23 you have the jog tag right there so beautiful beautiful jersey more goodies this is from the Harvey classic era of adidas and as you can see two players right here this is Andres Biedrens Harvey classic and this one right here is Baron Davis these are both rare jerseys guys believe it or not but this is the swingman versions of them 
to show you the Golden State and the Circle in California. Looks very similar, right, to the Mullen jersey, that uh, his rookie jersey. But this is actually, this was worn in the 70s. So, you know, obviously there it says Golden State and not Warriors on it, but you can see it did a pretty good job on this. See right there, you have the Harbor Classics NBA logo with that maroonish color. Both jerseys, number 15 and number five, are single stitched on. And Beedrance on the back and Davis are also stitched this is a large all right and because of the classic warriors jerseys of course the warriors organization is going to be paying homage of some of their past uniforms worn and i want to share with you guys some more of their hardware classics these are two classics as well guys these are not draymond green jerseys if this if that's what you guys are thinking these are actually the j rich versions right here this is a beautiful jersey guys the 23 is not chain stitch like the rick berry nate thurman this jersey is actually the um the city and the circle and the bridge and the water is actually all printed on but it's a really good print the number 23 however is single stitched you guys the jock tag as you can see right there then i have the swingman version of this jersey i don't think reebok made an authentic of this at the time but nonetheless this is the blue version the war which the warriors also wore um this season so you can see right there the city is printed along with the bridge and the water 23 is single stitched then on the back cable car that is also printed along with the 23 that is actually stitched and here's the back of the yellow version guys so richardson's name is single stitched and the 23 is single stitched here's the jock tag for the swingman jersey and this style right here guys um this is an interesting one because this was not an official style that the Warriors wore on court um, with this during this you know era of the Warriors. Um, the Warriors wore something very similar to it. This is part of their rewind line. They use older styles, but they kind of like remix the color. So if you guys are like into hockey and stuff like that, it's kind of like the retro reverse line, where you know they bring back old styles, but they kind of switch up the colors a little bit. So that's kind of what they did with this. So this is supposed to uh, resemble the Mullen. Um, the Chris Mullen rookie jersey. It is made by Nike. It's actually pretty decent quality. It's a swingman, guys. The Warriors on the front is single stitched, along with the 23. You have the printed, the circle right there with the California and the state. The star is actually stitched. This right here, the NBA logo, along with the swoosh. Yeah, Richardson's name that is single stitched, along with the 23. Definitely got 70s vibes, guys. If you could look at that old school uh, font of the Warriors, definitely has like a 70s font vibe to it show you guys the jock tag 75 right there warriors golden state so pretty dope pretty dope okay so if you guys became warriors fans much later during the curry era you're gonna start to see a bunch of those because um i think i showed you guys all my previous jerseys for curry and everything like that but when curry joined the warriors you know he became a sensation really quickly and also he it's part of the Warriors organization when Adidas rolled over to the Rev 30 line. And this jersey right here, guys, is an authentic. This is probably my least favorite uh, style, like, uh, you know, when Adidas took over, you know, because I did not like the Rev 30s as much. This is actually my only Rev 30 that I do have um, in the collection, uh, Rev 30 authentic, that is. But as you can see, the Rev 30s, they run extremely small. And this is kind of when they started to really blend and do some crazy material right here, experimenting with the material. See, it kind of looks like the newer Nike stuff. But the Golden State on the front, guys, is actually not stitched, even though it is an authentic. It's actually heat applied graphics on. And the patch is also heat applied on. The only thing that is stitched on the actual jersey itself is the number 30 and if you look closely you can see right there the 30 is the only thing that is stitched there's no stitch layers onto the jersey and graphic because it was actually heat applied however the bridge and the design right here if you look closely at the bridge looks like it is embroidered onto this graphic and the warriors is also heat applied onto the jersey but you know, this was the birth of a new logo and era for the Warriors. This became a dynasty era, you know, obviously when the Warriors 
started winning championships but on the back i really love this jersey because it has the golden state warriors the new logo along with the basketball and um this is what the neck tag looks like for the rev 30s guys so this is an extra large i bought this at oracle arena which was the team store um uh, in the arena where the warriors were at the time in oakland and there is a jock tag for those of you who are wondering guys now if you guys plan on getting rev 30s if you guys don't know anything or don't know much about the rev 30s they run extremely small okay so like this extra large fits like a slim large so just be mindful of that the length on the jerseys for the rev 30s also run extremely long guys like I can't explain it so they're very narrow in the width and the chest and they're very long in the length so if you have wide shoulders these jerseys might not be a good fit for you guys i know actually like a lot of nba players also complained about like the new sizing you know when the warriors start wearing the t-shirt style jerseys a lot of players did not like that especially lebron i i remember when he ripped it off when he was playing for i think it was miami heat at the time but um, this is the Rev 30 jersey. It's a really rare jersey guys. You don't really see this one too often But you know that was my first authentic when the Warriors changed their new when they rebranded their logo and everything like that This one right here I actually did a video on this is when they won their first championship with Curry As you can see right here. This is like the we believe or not We believe the Curry era if you want to call it that uh, Splash Brothers era so this is a championship jersey right here guys it is a swingman made by adidas but it's actually one of the best um swingmans from this era right here i just kind of want to give you guys a quick detail of this there is nothing that is actually stitched onto the jersey however the graphic is got that embroidery it's kind of got that crazy stitching detail but nothing is actually stitched on what i mean by that is you can see guys there's no stitching on here you could see it it's glued on like heat applied but there's nothing that's actually stitched onto the jersey but the curry and the 30 on the back have some really nice detail as you can see right there it's kind of got like that scale very very fitting for a championship see so you got the four four championship along with the nba logo larry o'brien trophy right there that is really dope here is the jock tag for those of you who are wondering and you have a gold jerry west logo so that's a classic one and then also we have another dope curry jersey um, right here this is probably one of my favorite designs from the warriors um you know lately you know definitely is one of my top for sure top 10 easily but as you can see, you just have this beautiful, this is an authentic version made by Nike guys. So as you can see, got the bay, that single stitch and this crazy design, man, with that dragon. Look at the dragon right there in the 30. That is single stitched on right there. Beautiful, beautiful and on the back. You know, the championships right there, the five championships. And then Curry's name that is single stitched. 30 side trim you know like this red and blue which looks very reminiscent to the wilt chamberlain san francisco warriors when i showed you but they added a new blend and also on the jock tag you see it right there it says prosperity that is printed on and the jock tag so super clean jersey this is definitely my favorite i also have a swingman version of this jersey guys which i'll share with you guys in a bit another one this is another dope jersey shout out to king leonidas for the assist on this one right here this is the town jersey guys and this is also the authentic curry crazy crazy detail you can see right there single stitch along with 30 curry's 30 that is stitched on on the back as well and this is the nike authentics so there's a jock tag also have the other version that they did of the town this is a swingman version guys of that jersey but you can see Kevin Durant's name. This is Kevin Durant's jersey. Obviously, he plays for the Nets now, but yo, he brought us back to back championships when he was in Golden State, so I can't complain, man. Definitely got to pay homage to KD. But you got the town that is heat applied. Everything on this jersey is heat applied. So, guys, for the newer Nike stuff, I've mentioned this countless times in previous videos, but if you don't know, when Adidas 
started doing the rev 30 stuff and you know they had their swingman line that was like single stitch they started to do away with that they discontinued stitching their swingman jerseys so you know obviously you know when nike took over and they rebranded again you know they did away with the stitching from their swingman line they stopped stitching their jerseys so you know that's kind of where these jersey designs get the features now but you can see 35 and the 35 is going to be stitched on an authentic however on the swingman guys it is just printed on with the oakland tree right there as you can see but still a beautiful jersey all around nike swish that is printed durant's name on the back and the 35 is heat applied so here is the jog tag of the jersey right there jerseys of a player that i really enjoyed when he played for golden state guys um this is none other than david lee you know obviously a lot of people know him for his stint with the knicks but you know he brought us a championship our first championship in 2015 you know he was part of that the all-star game and this is the style that they wore during that so this is a replica version of the jersey guys so obviously you know the quality is not the best but it's definitely still an iconic jersey you can see right there you got the star the all-star star emblem patch right there with jerry west you have west for the western conference and david lee's number 10 when he was with the dubs along with the adidas the west and the 10 are actually printed there's the neck tag guys on the back you have number 10 and david lee's name that is printed on and you have the warriors logo right there so i'm not too fond with all-star jerseys i just never really got into them i definitely would like to get some you know this was one of my favorite ones but i am not the type of person where i have to have every all-star jersey but you know maybe my mind will change in the future look at that look at the side panel of the jersey super dope you see that star right there the star is actually stitched you know the nice stripes very patriotic for sure i have the road version the road blue of this this was their swingman line from adidas um just a heads up guys this one is actually let me show you guys single stitch so as i mentioned before they discontinued doing the stitching not bad not bad for a swingman you know as you can see the number 10 is just printed on with the logo but the whole circle patch and the golden state warriors are actually single stitch but this was another jersey that i got for a great deal but it was signed by david lee so you can see lee's name single stitch number 10 that is david lee's signature um i got this jersey for dirt cheap you know obviously i could not find a regular swingman version at the time and this guy had it on ebay for dirt cheap and um you know he sent me an offer a private offer and i was just like yo that's that's an offer i can't refuse so i pulled the trigger on it um but yeah it is it is signed you know i should probably get it framed and probably look for another one but you know this is a dope jersey for sure and here is the jock tag for the swingman adidas stuff this is an iconic one obviously guys you know this style um, a lot of people remember curry and the warriors when they wore this style right here this is made by nike this is the authentic see golden state right there beautiful beautiful and then you have like a rubberized nike swoosh right there there's the neck tag you can't really see it guys and on the back you have curry's name number six jerry west curry 30 right there and here is the jog tag so you know obviously guys nike they did what they called the nike connect stuff they discontinued doing this but during this era they actually had this where basically like you would scan this little thing right here and um it would give you like some features and stuff but they discontinued it guys they don't do that anymore with their jerseys this is a swingman version guys did not have the authentic of this i am looking for one but if you guys have one let me know this is the swingman version of curry's jersey during this era this is the home white you see right there printed nike logo heat applied golden state warriors on the back curry's name and 30 are heat applied so there's that one of my favorites i've been wearing this one a lot lately this is actually hard to come by believe it or not guys i know it's a fairly newer style but here's curry's name that is heat applied number 30 that is 
heat applied as well this is the swingman version nike is really weird because i just want to say this real quick that when they make their jerseys their swingman lines and stuff like that they don't always make them in authentics you know back then when reebok and stuff were making them they'd make a swingman version and then they'd make an authentic version but for some reason nike like really likes to pick and choose what they want to make in an authentic or not so this jersey i was really hoping they would have made it an authentic but to my knowledge they did not release it an authentic to go out to the public but here is the jock tag this is a 56 which is a double xl that's another thing that i want to say guys if you guys are into the swingman jerseys or you're getting into nike jerseys the swingman line and just their jerseys in general the newer stuff they tend to run a bit smaller um the swingman jerseys do not have a length plus two but the nike authentics do have a length plus two and they run a little bit wider to my knowledge so for the swingman stuff for the newer nikes i tend to go a size up from what i normally wear so i'll get like a double x which is a 56 i could do an xl which is a 52 fine but i prefer to get a 56 it's just more relaxed fit for me but yeah this is a dope jersey for sure these two styles are what were worn during this past season actually guys so as you can see right here they call them like the i think what the icon or association editions or whatever um i'm not good with the names but these are both authentic versions guys curry did some amazing things wearing these styles he broke many records during the the stint of when he was wearing these jerseys right here but now you have sponsor patches i actually got these at the team shop so that's another little note that i want to remind you guys if you do buy jerseys that are outside of the team stores they will not come with a sponsor patch if you do however buy jerseys from their respectable team stores they will come with a sponsor patch so um you know rakuten is the sponsor for the warriors so you know obviously they have the sponsorship patch right there and then also nike later started to stitch the swoosh instead of having it as a printed graphic golden state single stitched warriors 30 is single stitch and then of course you know this design right here is like this bridge is now like rubberized it's not actually stitched guys curry single stitched rubberized jerry west logo championship right there which is number six you have the 30 that is single stitched you have this one the blue version single stitched single stitched single stitch single stitched so real classic real classic real classic currently curry's career high 62 point jersey right here i call this the lemonade jersey guys but this is a really really nice one this was worn by the warriors this season right here and this is the authentic version i had the swingman of this jersey originally and then i found out later that they did release this in an authentic so i immediately sold the swingman version and i upgraded to the authentic so for obvious reasons the quality is much more better much more accurate this is the Jumpman jersey, this is a Jordan, Jordan brand right there. And this is the Bay 30, that is single stitch. And you have this like really nice patch that is single stitch as well. And then you have like the sunset right there, the Bay. And that's all, it's an interesting graphic. If you look right here, the top portion is like stitched the half of the jersey and then like these little like ripples of what it's supposed to be reminiscent of like the ripple waters of the bay is actually like printed on and here's the back you have single stitch curry along with the jerry west and the number six championship right there side trim then we have the jock tag right there this is probably my favorite jersey that was worn this season this right here guys is the classic city edition paying homage to the we believe era basically you know the warriors are now wearing this style you know they're now playing in san francisco but they're paying homage to oakland and it was kind of like when they were playing in oakland they had the city jerseys which was paying homage to san francisco so it's kind of like going back and forth with it but this is the authentic version guys this jersey sold out really quick you see right there sponsor patch nike swoosh that is stitched oakland you have that beautiful stitching on the orange trim right there and on the 30 kind of have those like perforated holes with it right there that is 
looks to be double stitched looks like curry's name single stitch 30 in the back and it's cool because if you look at this i also did a video on this on my youtube channel you should definitely check that out as well but you have the beautiful we believe just kind of etched across the side panels of the jersey beautiful beautiful so this is one of my favorite styles definitely for the warriors for sure shout out to my man clay thompson can't wait to see him come back man because the splash brothers are just not complete without one half of that clay thompson this is the authentic version guys made by nike so you see right there thompson single stitch number 11 championship logo this is made by nike so this is still brand new with tags <laughs> i have so many jerseys with tags guys i have yet to wear them i gotta wear them more often but there's that one and then of course i have this one right here this is the hardwood classic version hardwood classic knights or whatever you want to call them i got this from from the team store as you can see the rocketon the city along with the number 11 personally for me what I didn't like what, you know, they started doing with the city patch is that they kind of made it like really flimsy. So look, you could see it, it's kind of got like a dent right there. You know, they should have just left the the, white, the the yellow out portion of the number 11, just like part of the fabric. That's what I felt like they should have done, but it's just one giant patch. Cause if you look at the Reebok one that I had, they didn't have that, you know? So this just kind of throws it a throws it off for me but i still like the jersey so heat applied the city now the number 11 is heat applied onto this patch so it's like a patch on the patch or a graphic on a graphic so to speak it's really weird kind of hard to explain you have the printed nba logo along with heat applied graphics and cable car thompson's name right there so this is a classic one as well iggy iguodala the sixth man right here you know this is the nike version guys um if i'm not mistaken i believe he joined when Iguodala signed with the Warriors when they were still doing Adidas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I got a, I, my memory's kind of blurry, but this is the Swingman version, guys. This is a rare one, actually. You know, heat applied. You already know the drill. But Andre Iguodala was a very pivotal role. He played a very key role for our bench. You know, he contributed, and he came. He came through when we needed him. Really, really dope. Size 52. This is still brand new with tags, too, guys. You don't really see the Igodala Warriors jerseys floating around too often. But as you can see right here, this is the Adidas version. It's kind of like paying homage to like the, you know, run TMC era. It's definitely got those vibes, as you can see. And this is this is when Adidas started to do away with the stitching because now you have heat applied graphics and 35 on the front right there. So obviously like the David Lee one was actually single stitch, but you know, shortly after Adidas started to discontinue it with their swingman line in the back the rant 35 that is heat applied right there so there's that jersey and then we have the white one right here this is when he joined the warriors swingman version guys golden state heat applied 35 heat applied or the graphic is printed with the giant patch right there Nike connect and then we also have the dragon right here this is the swingman version so I have the authentic of the curry and I have a swingman version of Kevin Durant KD so heat applied you know there's no stitching on this version just all heat applied graphics you know, on the back Durant and 35 is heat applied in a printed Jerry West logo guys that then this one is kind of paying homage kind of like a hardwood classic jersey this is uh but they did like a white version of this really really dope um i wanted to get a curry one in this style but in a draymond green but they're getting harder to find so i got a kd one at the time so heat applied heat applied you see right there nothing is stitched on the swingman version of these jerseys guys but nonetheless they are classic and historical pieces for the warriors we're almost done guys <laughs> but we're gonna be moving on to another favorite player of mine for the thugs this is not jason richardson anymore guys this is draymond green this is an authentic version he gets a lot of flack because of his trash talking you know but 
I think he's one of my, he's one of my favorite warriors. You know, I don't care what people say, you know, but yeah, this is the authentic version, guys. You can see right there. Made by Nike. Draymond Green, 23. It's all single stitched. So still brand new with tags. I actually have these. I got these this year. These are both the authentic versions of these styles. I also have the curry one, obviously. This is the lemonade jersey, but it is the Draymond Green one. This is the authentic. So Jumpman logo right there on the back. You see right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Still brand new with tags purchased directly from the Warriors team shop. Then of course we have the city edition Oakland one with the 23, you know, Draymond Green, Warriors, Rakuten, beautiful, beautiful jersey, beautiful, both authentics. And then this style right here, um, a lot of our players, our star players really didn't wear this style because they were injured. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the only player uh, from our big three that wore this style is Draymond. I don't think Curry wore this style because I think he was out because he was injured. And I'm not sure if Clay was already out by then. Um, but yeah, Draymond Green did wear this style. He was one of the three big three that wasn't hurt that actually wore this style. This is like a kind of did a different style of the town. And I like this one because, you know, they added some blue, which is like a primary color for the Warriors uniforms today. This is the authentic version. You got your sponsorship patch that is single stitch. The town is single stitch. Draymond's 23 is stitched onto this graphic with the Oakland tree right there. And then you have the graphic that is single stitch on the outer layer right there. And then you have this rubberized tree. Then on the back, you got the championship, NBA rubberized green 23 that is single stitch. And then of course you have the Golden State Warriors on the jock tie right there. Super, super fresh. Real, real nice jersey right there. All right, guys. And this jersey that I'm about to share with you guys is a player that I have high hopes for. I really do think that he's going to go down being very special for the Warriors. And he might make a lot of history with the Warriors. And, um, you know, he is injured. He was our last draft pick for the Dubs. But... You know, um, yeah, this right here, guys, is none other than James Wiseman. This is also the authentic version of the Oakland style right there. So I have very high hopes that he will come back with a full recovery and wreak havoc with the experience being taught by our veterans and the dubs. But this is the authentic version, guys. Wiseman, 33, you know, stitched onto the jersey. Super, super fire. Just really sad because, you know, he got hurt and then he basically did not play for the remainder of the season. But, yo, you know, like I said, I'm very optimistic with James Wiseman. Definitely has a lot of potential. All right, guys. So I have two more jerseys that I want to share with you guys. And these next two jerseys are actually not jerseys that the players wore on the court per se, but they're more kind of like special type like fashion slash like lifestyle jerseys or whatever you want to call them right here. Um, this one, guys, is... A really nice one um so this is like the mitchell and ness slash bleacher report jerseys that they did um in the nba so just kind of give you guys some insight the nba kind of like gave the opportunity for like some rappers um to design some of the jerseys that they wore in the nba so this was actually designed by bay area legend hip-hop legend e40 right here uncle earl and um here's the jog tag guys you have the E40 and the BR, which is Bleacher Report, that is printed on along with the city logo. And you can see right there, there's the jock tag. This is a swingman version. This is a good swingman because it's actually single stitch on to the jersey, guys. With the bay. And you got that bling. You got that bling diamond effect right there. And you have like this nice graphic just decked out in that bling. <laughs> it's just a printed graphic, guys. It's not actual bling, but... You know, nonetheless, you can see right there, the city, the bridge is decked out and, and uh, that bling and diamond. So on the back, you got the sick with it. That is single stitch 40, the 40 number right there that is printed on. It's a graphic printed onto the jersey. It's actually a pretty good swing, man, guys. I know a lot of people hated this jersey. They didn't like the line. They thought it was trash. I like this style a lot. You know, this is definitely something different. If you're from the Bay, 
you definitely get Bay Area vibes with this, you know. And like I said, you know, E40 used the whole city aesthetic, you know, because he wanted to design it. Because again, it's a classic logo. It's one of the Warriors' best logos, in my opinion. Last but not least, I'm out of breath, guys. Sorry. I'm like, I've been talking for so long. This is a Just Dawn Warriors authentic right here. And it's just, you know, the Just Dawn, man, there's a lot of hype behind these jerseys. These jerseys go for buttloads, crazy amounts of money retail wise. But I, I got this way below retail. To be honest with you, I wouldn't have paid retail for this jersey, you know? So I only got it because I got it for under retail. But there is the jog tag. Just Dawn is like a high-end fashion premium style or brand, whatever you want to call it. And then Just Dawn right there in the neck that is like infused with the trim. This is actually a double XL, guys, but this thing fits huge. So I have to get this jersey tailored. But again, you know, I got this jersey for dirt cheap, which is why I pulled the trigger. Nothing on the front. And as you can see, this is all printed on to the jersey. You know, it's kind of like a, basically a blank it's on the back. There's no name, nothing. So you could actually turn this into a jersey, into a player, believe it or not. But I don't know. You know, that's kind of the whole aesthetic and theme for Just Dawn. So got this jersey right here. And that is pretty much my warriors collection up until june 2021 guys so obviously there are jerseys that i am still missing in the collection um as i've said previously in this video you know there was a point in time where i wasn't collecting jerseys i wasn't buying jerseys so obviously you know there's going to be some gaps but i'm trying to fill in those gaps very slowly you know this is definitely a pretty decent collection, I would say, for my Warriors collection. I'm proud of it, you know. Definitely a lot of history behind me right here, um, you know. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this marathon of Welcome to the Bay right here. You know, I actually had to film this with my phone because, you know, um, I was afraid that I would have ran out of space if I was filming it with my camera, believe it or not. But nonetheless, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed that. This is definitely going to be updated as the year goes on, many, many years go forward, as the Warriors bring new designs and new styles and new players. This rack behind me will increase in size. So um, until then, guys, this is my collection as of right now, as of 2021 of June. So definitely stay tuned for more Warriors jerseys to come. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. I would greatly appreciate it. I am almost at the 1500 mark for subscriptions, guys. I'm at 1409 or 1409 right now. So definitely subscribe to the channel and show your support because that fuels me to continue making videos like this. And also, please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about Dub Nation. Are you guys Dubs fans like me or not? And if you're not, you know, which team? Do you have a team that where you have a collection like this? And if so, post below. All my Jersey heads, all my Dub Nation out there, this video is for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy that one. That's it for me, guys. I know the Dubs did not make it to the playoffs this year, which sucks. But, yo, we are going to be coming back stronger. And best believe, mark my words, guys, there is, I see at least one more championship in the horizon with this era. This whole Curry Splash Brothers era, I see one more chip coming our way. At least one more. So maybe two, but definitely one more. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys for all the continued support. And I will see y'all on the next one. Dub Nation, we out. Peace.